This video is sponsored by Rocketstock.com. You know what a lot of fun is? Doing custom logo animation. You know what's not a lot of fun? Not knowing what to do with custom logo animation. So in this video, we're gonna talk about tips on what to do with custom logo animation. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So there's so many different ways to do custom logo animation, but in this tutorial, we're gonna focus on several different ways to do custom logo animation through motion graphics. The goal of this tutorial is not only to show you several cool techniques when it comes to custom logo animation, but also help you develop the mindset approach when you do logo animation. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's create some awesome custom logo animations. All right, so we're starting this tutorial in Adobe Illustrator because most logos will be in the form of .ai files, which are Illustrator files because logos are usually designed in Adobe Illustrator. If you're working with a client who gave you a JPEG, ask them if they have the .ai file of their logo because this is gonna hold the original fidelity of the logo and we can do some really awesome things uh, for After Effects if we set this up correctly in Adobe Illustrator. So this is the right workflow to do logo animation. So when you have an Adobe Illustrator file, what you can do is you can start separating elements into separate layers so they're animated separately inside of After Effects. So what I could do, for example, is grab our logo, go to Object and click on Ungroup. So what I can do is select one part of this logo and that is completely selected and I can move it around. Um, obviously you want to keep it exactly where it needs to be, but what's important about this is that I can come here to our layers in the right corner and create new layer. And I'm going to grab all those paths I have selected. You can see they're selected because they're highlighted right here. And I'll bring that to a new layer. So I turn this layer off, boom, it's in its own separate layer. Then I'm going to want to do it again and grab the other side and put that in its own layer as well. So now this logo is isolated into two parts. So I simply wanted to show this process to show you how some of the organization can work. And when you're done, you can save this up and now we can jump over to After Effects. So now we have After Effects loaded up and what we'll do is drag our logo AI file into After Effects. And I'll ask you, how do you want to import your logo? I want to import it as footage and click OK. Then I'll bring this layer into our main composition and boom, here is our logo. And now that we have our logo in here, what we can do is right click our Adobe Illustrator file, go to create and click on convert to layered comp. And this will allow us to go into that composition and we have all of our elements in here. So we have our typeface, our you know logo elements, and I can just copy this and I'll just paste it back into our main comp so we have all that, delete the logo layer. And now we have our three separated elements inside of our main composition. And the entire purpose of separating these elements is to allow you to give individual animations to different aspects of the logo. Sometimes you won't have that control, um, but this is just an idea of how you can break up a logo and animate it individually. There's a lot that we can do with this animation. So I'm gonna keep it rather simple because the first tip in this tutorial was to break up our logo and you know be able to animate it separately. So. I can grab, say, one of these elements here. I'll grab element left. And I can hit S and R on my keyboard for scale and rotation. And I can add a keyframe for both of these. And we'll move it forward in time. So maybe like a second and a half. And, you know, one, I can rotate this and scale it down to zero. And we'll get like a little custom animation like this. And of course, maybe I can rotate this even more. So like get a more of a rotational effect to it. And that's pretty cool. Then let's hit shift P on our keyboard to bring up position. And let's add a keyframe for position as well. And let's go forward. And let's bring the X position over to the left. So now we'll kind of get this action going on for animation. And then let's go ahead and grab all of our keyframes and hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes. Cool. Now, obviously, we want to do this to the other side as well. And then we'll turn on motion blur here and turn it on at the top. So now we have our separated animation on our actual logo. And of course, this is not going to work for the logo you're working for. It all depends on the type of logo you have. But the first concept was to show you how you can separate your logo and have it animate individually. So this is one technique that you can think about when you're doing your logo animation. And of course we can offset the layers by a little bit in time in this way you'll have a little bit more variation so now we'll move on to the second part of our tutorial which is now animating the actual title the title typeface of your logo so if you have your logo set up like my project like the typeface in its own uh, illustrator file you don't want to do that because we want to be able to animate the text separately so what we can do is go back into adobe illustrator and grab our title here this is going to be the name of our company and we can copy this and then we go back over to After Effects, create a you know text layer, click anywhere, and just paste that in there. And now you have the same exact title inside of After Effects. However, now it is a title layer and not a vector layer. And we can just delete that. So now we can go into our title layer and animate this separately with each character. So we can open up our title layer and we come here to the Animate tab and we can add some properties. 
So perhaps this time we'll actually enable per character 3D and we come here to animate and we can add say rotation. And there's so much stuff that you can do with this you know, window. I highly suggest you check out our tutorial. The link will be in the description. We've done a full tutorial on how to use all these parameters uh, and give you an idea of how to animate titles very easily. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description to a tutorial that we've done in the recent past. So from here, what we can do is we can animate each of the characters individually. So I'm gonna come here and say, do a Y rotation. I'll set this to like 90 degrees. And then what I wanna do is come here to range selector one Add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward to, I don't know, a second or so and we'll set this to 100%. And now our title will reveal on like that. You know, make these easy, easy keyframes as well by hitting F9 on my keyboard. So now we have something like that and it's just, eh, it's okay. So we'll go ahead and continue to work on this. I want to come here and add another property and I'm going to add a opacity. And I'm going to set the opacity down to 0%. So now we don't actually see the logo on there and it kind of just reveals on like that. And then underneath our range selector, I want to go to the advanced tab. And I want to set this to maybe randomize order, which would be cool. And I just take a look at that. You know, that's pretty interesting. And if I want, I can add another property. And this time I'm going to add blur. And then I can increase the blur by a little bit. And this will blur things out as they come in. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done. And now we have our animation on our title. And, you know, that's pretty cool. There's so much that you can do with animating your title individually. And, of course, there's a handful of different types of things that you can use, like Animation Composer, which has... You know tons of title presets and motion presets for your projects so you know you can save a lot of time by using templates that are pre-made already in after effects if you want to learn more about animation composer i'll drop that link in the description and before we move on to our next technique i want to say thank you to my friends over at rocketstock.com for sponsoring this video and we're going to take a quick look at a transitions pack called title which has 100 video transitions which is great for motion graphics and fun projects so for example, I can grab any one of our 100 transitions. I'm going to grab a title liquid transition and I can bring this on top of our composition here. And this is simply the transition that will be applied to our composition. And what we can do is bring this layer on top of our main composition, which is our logo. And we, then we can change the track mat to alpha mat. And this will reveal on our entire composition. And now with the transitions pack, we're now able to add this awesome animation to the beginning of our logo animation and towards the end of our logo animation. Not only is this transitions pack meant for motion graphics, but it's also meant for uh, video transitions, which is also amazing. So if you're interested in checking out a transitions pack, which is great for video and motion graphics, you can check our links in the video description. All right, so for our third technique, since this is a motion graphic logo, we're gonna spice this up with accent motion graphics. Now we've done a handful of tutorials on accent motion graphics, and I'm gonna kind of rush through this. So if you wanna learn more about accent motion graphics, you can check links in the description. We have so many tutorials on accent motion graphics. So I'm going to come here to the top and grab, say, the ellipse tool, and I'm going to cl click on the word fill and select the color of our logo because palette matters, and click OK, and I'm going to come here and draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard. So now we have a perfect circle like this. I'm going to go ahead and open up our ellipse 1, and I'm going to come here to transform ellipse 1, and I'm going to add a keyframe for scale. I'm going to move this keyframe forward in time and set the scale down to 0%. So simply we get this circle animating in like this, and I'm going to hit F9 on our keyboard to make all these keyframes, you know, easy, easy keyframes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our ellipse one, go to edit, duplicate. And then I'm going to go to our contents, click on add, and I'm going to add a merge paths. And now I'm going to come here to merge path one and set the mode to subtract. Then I'm going to go to a ellipse one go back to our keyframes and I'm going to offset the keyframes just by a few frames. So now we have a circle just imploding like that. And that is simply an accent motion graphic. And what we can do here is we can duplicate our circle and just move it around our composition. And now we have more circles imploding on our screen and we can continue to duplicate this. All right. So when you've created a ridiculous amount of circles like I did, what we can do is we can offset these in time. So now we have our accent motion graphics animating around our screen. And it's just a small portion of what is possible with accent motion graphics. So if I want to expand this, I can quickly add more accent motion graphics uh, to our composition. And literally within like under you know, 30 seconds, I quickly added more accent motion graphics to our logo animation by using a third party template called Toka, which has over 1350 elements. And within this pack, there's over 100 motion graphic shape elements called accent motion graphics that we can add to any After Effects composition. 
So if you want to check this out, I'll drop a link in the description. And of course, we also have our very own motion graphic pack as well. So if you want to learn more about creating more accent motion graphics, or if you want to check out some of the templates to help you speed up your work and you can use on multiple motion graphics, you can check the links in the video description. All right, so for our fourth and final technique, let's talk about overall movement to our logo. So we have a lot of elements in here, and I want to make sure that we can separate our logo animation among all of our other elements. So what I'm going to do here is go to Layer, New, Null Object, and I'm going to grab all of our elements to our logo, so our typeface and our logo elements, and I'm going to parent this to the Null Object. And what I can do here is hit S on my keyboard for scale for Null Object. We can come here to when it fully animates on, and maybe right when the logo typeface logo appears on. We'll add a keyframe for scale and we'll move forward by a frame and we can have this dip down by a little bit and then we'll come here to the end of our animation and we'll have the scale inward by a touch so there's constant animation on our logo. And now with our animation this adds just a little bit more touch to our logo and kind of puts draws more attention to it so adding a little bit of custom animation to the overall logo is going to help pull that from all the elements that you add to your logo animation so this is how you create a motion graphic logo so i hope you guys enjoyed this custom logo animation tutorial if you're new to our channel sunduck film please be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel sunduck film we post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating.